Welcome to another installment of Five Minute Tones. I'm wearing my purple hat and I've got my rainbow shirt on. So let's do a Richie Blackmore inspired preset using just four blocks on the Axe FX3. I recently did a video called Five Killer Riffs Richie Blackmore and I'm gonna recreate the preset that I used for that because quite a few people requested the preset from that. Now, this isn't any specific error or recording that I'm trying to recreate. It's just, uh, you know, a preset that kind of gives me the vibe when I plug in my stream with a big headstock and play some rainbow and purple riffs. So let's start with the amp and the cab. The amp block that I'm gonna use is the 1970 Plexi 100 watt. Richie was uh, famous or infamous, depending which way you wanna look at it, for using the 200 watt Marshall Majors, which uh, just would have been an insane amplifier. So we'll start with this uh, 100 watt Plexi. And the cab that I'm gonna use is uh, from Factory Bank Two, it's somewhere in the 700s, like 730, uh, let's see, no, almost 730, there it is, 732. This 4x12 Lurkst cab uh, shot with a 121. I wanted to go for a darker style impulse and I love the Royer 121 ribbon mic for sort of 70s tones. So this one gets pretty close, I think. All I'm gonna apply here is a bit of low cut. I'll set that to 80. And I'm gonna bring the high cut down to about 6,500 for more of a vintage style thing. All right, let's hear this so far on the bridge pickup of this Strat. I've got some Sir Michael Landau pickups in this. <laughs> Uh, nothing too remarkable just yet. Let's dial in the amp a little bit. Uh, I always like to go with a lower bass setting and a higher mid and treble setting with these sort of plexi style amps. And I like to turn the normal drive all the way off. I'm gonna turn the treble drive down as well. So this will kind of give us like a cleanish, a uh, bit more than an edge of breakup kind of sound. That sort of vintage 70s Marshall thing is what we're going for. <laughs> So that's not too bad at the moment. It's a bit clangy sounding, and if you're familiar with the kind of Blackmore stuff, you know, even though he's playing a Strat and a Marshall, it's, it's not too clangy, you know, there is this nice, uh, for use of a better term, warmth about his guitar tone. And one thing that he was pretty famous for was for using a tape machine, but only using the preamp in it. And the way we're gonna emulate that is to use a drive block, and we're gonna use a tape distortion, which conveniently is right here because I've been playing around with this, would you believe it? Uh, you can see I've got the drive and tone at the stock settings, and I've just turned the level control up. This is like the little bit of extra sauce on top, which I think gets you a bit closer to that vintage Richie kind of sound. <laughs> Now, the amount of distortion you want to dial in there, I would just use the level control to sort of control that, uh, the drive more to control the character of the tone there. And that's probably more gain than Richie Blackmore would have used on the Deep Purple stuff. Uh, but to me, it's pretty comfortable to play and it sort of sounds ballpark. So that's all we're aiming for there. The last thing, let's add some reverb. I want to get like a big room sound just to sort of capture a bit of liveliness. So we'll put a reverb block in there. The reverb I'm going to use is actually the very first reverb in here, the ambience reverb. And I'm just going to turn the mix up to 30%. This is what adding that reverb block does. <laughs> And that's pretty much all I did for that particular video. The 100 watt Plexi, an impulse using a Royer ribbon microphone, a bit of high cut and low cut, the tape distortion, which really sort of 
tames that clunkiness of the Strat and that excessively bright thing that a Strat bridge pickup might have, and then a room style reverb using the ambience reverb. Now, let's hear this in the context of like a deep purple rainbow style mix. I'm gonna use a backing track again by my buddy Trond. I will put a link to his YouTube channel in the video description because he makes some really great sounding tracks. This is this preset in a mix. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>